When you play a game, you want the game to be fun, enjoyable, and is something that you will devote many hours of your life into. Whether it's fun or not is an extremely important reason why you will be playing the game, and with the giant amount of games that anyone is exposed to just by owning an electronic device, especially with PC and mobile gaming nowadays, they can just hop into a new game if they don't like their current one. Which is why the most important experience a player has with a game is the first few minutes in said game. If he doesn't enjoy it, he won't play it. He will just give up right on the spot. Kids have short attention spans, especially on the mobile market. Ensuring that the new player is well informed of how the game works, how they are exposed to that information, and what they experience while playing is the key reason why people would play that game. But this is no easy task. In my opinion, this is one of the hardest tasks a developer can accomplish in a game. And sadly, not all people can do it right. Battle Bears Gold is an example, and with BBR2 in development, I feel that I'll be able to input my two cents and maybe cure the disease that I feel BBG has been suffering from for years. And what does a new player see when he opens the app? I got my dad's old phone and got BBG to see what a new player would get when he opened the app for the very first time. We were looking for a way for the player to understand what he's supposed to do, and learn to play the game. I remember there was a tutorial, so let's click on that quick play button. Oh. Never mind. So, quick play doesn't give you the tutorial when you first start the game. Since Ben thought it was so important to get rid of the play button, and then click play again, he felt it was more important to just get rid of that one extra click, sacrificing new players from being able to reach the tutorial. Now I'm not saying Ben is an idiot. I know that making a game is hard work, but removing an extra click while getting rid of the tutorial is a really bad move on his part, or whoever coded the quick play button. Just notice that since Ben is the owner, I just kind of see him as doing everything. Even though I know that's not true. He just takes responsibility for whatever mistakes or miracles happen within the Skyvu laboratories. But now I do feel that some of you little kids with their iPads are watching at home and saying, Bob, they didn't get rid of the tutorial. Oh yeah. I forgot, they hid it behind the private match button. Because that just screams tutorial, especially since the button blends in with the main menu, and a lot of people don't even notice it for a while, including me. But really, what I'm trying to say is that you should pay more attention to some of the side effects, especially one as big as this. I guess the best way to fix this problem is to just, when a new player play, plays the game for the first time and clicks the quick play button, I think it should automatically direct to the tutorial instead of going into an actual game. I don't want to spend too much time on the tutorial. I think most of the things wrong here are pretty obvious, but I'll do a quick rundown, even though there kinda are a lot of points. You have the Turkish SW boots, but you don't have them in-game. This is kind of confusing for new players. Everything is green and doesn't really clearly show where to go. The sign in front of the shooting range appears a bit too late and is easy to miss. The huggable heads don't pop out, so you don't know what to do. They just really blend in with the scenery. Since you don't know what to do, and don't know what to shoot at, 
Some people might try to jump over the laser wall, which they can't. Melees are not the most important thing to teach new players, or at least in my opinion. The power-up sign is also easily missed. The team color thing is barely explained. You can't hurt yourself with the bear zooka. I don't think you should be able to actually like die, just get hurt, not be able to go below 1 HP. This is just some little thing that I think would improve the game, because I remember when I was in the tutorial I just liked to shoot myself with the bear zooka and just have no real side effects. And I think there should be a side effect, because in game there is, but not in the tutorial. It doesn't teach you about the different weapons to use, like the billions of different weapons that the game has to offer. I don't know about you, but I think creativity is the main selling point for BBG as a FPS mobile shooter. It doesn't teach you about gas and jewels. Well, it is barely skim jewels in the power-up section, but that place is just easily missed anyways. I missed it. It doesn't teach you about how pretty much every single player is going to absolutely obliterate them, which leads me to the single greatest problem for new players. The other players. If you ever hop into a game of CSGO or any other multiplayer game, there is a big chance that you will be playing with people who match your skill level. Of course this is not perfect, some really skilled players may pop in a bit, like in CSGO there are pretty much 4 or 5 smurfs in every single game I play, but for a majority of the time, you'll be playing with people who are of the same level as you. But what about Battle Bears? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure there was a system about 3 or 4 years ago, but that system has died due to the fact that there are not that many people playing the game anymore. Instead of putting the low skilled players in a match and the high skilled players into a different one, we get a match where there are pros and new players in the same match together. People who downloaded the game 5 minutes ago playing with people who downloaded the game 5 years ago. I dare you to join any match and wait to see someone who isn't level 30 or above. But how can we solve this problem, you might ask, and there is no real easy answer to this. We need a way for new players to play with other new players. But how can we do that if there aren't that many players there already? I was thinking to put ads on YouTube or something, but that would take money, and that's not something that Ben has a lot of. So I guess the best thing to do right now is wait until BBR2 comes out, and hopefully the hype brings a bunch of new players. But here, we can only hope. So finally. Just a quick list of things that I feel should go to the top of Ben's to-do list. Make a better tutorial and a better way for new players to understand the game. Maybe even make a video tutorial like you did with the overhaul videos. Those are pretty nice. I liked those. Please bring those back. Please. Reduce gas and jewel prices. Then people will actually consider buying them. I heard from SSP that you guys can't, so I would like to know, but only if that info is something that you guys at Skyvu are willing to inform us all. No pressure. Put ads in the end of games. We get gas and you get money. And actually this part has been in the script for a little while. And then Ben just recently added ads back into the end of games, and I'm actually pretty glad that he did this. And I don't remember telling him about it, and I have no idea if anyone else told him about that, but if he thought of that by himself, I really applaud him. Or whoever that Skyvad, I don't care. Uh, 
The point is that there are ads in the end of game, at the end of games, and that is really good. I am very glad that is a feature that was added back. Increase the amount of gas a new player gets from downloading the game. 10 is just way too little. Get 5 gas around uh, every time you level up. You level up a lot when you are new, and old players don't level up as often, so it would be a good balance. Add daily quests to gain jewels and gas. This would make new players come on every day, and not just for the daily reward. I think the daily reward and daily quests should be a different thing, and should not really, like, get rid of the other. They should both coexist equally and in harmony. Having equipment plus one should be default. Everything, all of them, except for all of the plus twos, should be unlocked already. With the disadvantages new players are exposed to, this would be a small but useful change. And this second equipment slot should be open as well. Please. No, no gas. Please, no. Thanks, SSP, for the idea. That was something that I really didn't notice. Uh, make sure you go s subscribe to SSP. Uh, yeah, okay, I, don't, I don't know. Okay. Well, that's gotta do it from me. Every like on this video will increase the amount of likes this video gets. Have a nice day, everyone. Maybe BBR2 will be the new player heaven. But we can only hope.